Once you have selected your preferred base map, you can then add additional layers on top. The first group includes options for radar, satellite, icing, turbulence, and more. Some of these layers require a Pro Plus subscription to display. Next, you can select additional overlays to display, including traffic, TFRs, airport weather conditions, PIREPs, lightning, obstacles, fuel prices, and more. The weather layers will display right on top of your selected base map and flight plan route, making it an excellent pre-flight briefing tool. The radar and satellite imagery can be animated by using the play button at the bottom of the screen, which is useful to determine the direction of movement and trends in the precipitation. The age of the weather report is displayed in the time slider at the bottom of the screen. You can also tap the timestamp in the upper left corner for additional details. Notice that ForeFlight offers two choices for radar, composite and lowest tilt. Composite radar combines all the different elevation scans from a ground-based radar and shows the maximum reflectivity for each location. It's sort of a worst-case picture of weather, displaying red even if the red part of the storm is at 40,000 feet. This is typically the preferred choice for pilots, since it is the most conservative. But lowest tilt, also called base reflectivity, can also be useful. This uses only the lowest scan angle from the radar, so it offers a better representation of what precipitation is actually coming out of the bottom of a cloud. This can be helpful for takeoff and landing. When viewing the radar layer on the ground with an internet connection, you'll see gray cross-hatching with a message, Radar not available in areas without radar coverage. This visually indicates on the map where coverage is not available. To help you differentiate between areas that have no radar coverage versus areas with clear skies. This cross-hatching can be turned off by going to the map settings and disabling the internet radar coverage option. There are also two satellite imagery options, enhanced satellite and color infrared or IR satellite. The enhanced satellite primarily uses grayscale imagery to depict cloud coverage, with color added when needed to highlight strong weather systems containing moist convection or thunderstorms. This is useful for locating weather hazards when flying in areas with limited or non-existent ground weather radar coverage. The second satellite layer, Color IR, colorizes the entire satellite layer based on the temperature of the cloud tops, which can be used to locate potential in-flight icing hazards. The icing layer depicts the interactive forecast icing product on the map, which is a prediction of icing severity at altitudes from 3,000 feet up to flight level 300. Darker colors indicate an increased presence of supercooled water droplets, leading to a higher rate of airframe ice buildup when in these conditions. The turbulence layer is designed to forecast areas of potential clear air and mountain wave turbulence not associated with convective weather or thunderstorms. Darker colors mean a rougher ride. Both the turbulence and icing layers feature an altitude slider on the right side of the screen and a time slider at the bottom to see how the conditions are expected to evolve in the hours ahead. For Pro Plus subscribers, another useful layer is the graphical cloud forecast. This weather layer shows a satellite picture on the maps page predicting cloud coverage in 3-hour increments out to 24 hours in the future. If you're concerned about a low overcast cloud layer for your 8 a.m. training flight tomorrow, this will provide a visual indication of what the sky coverage may look like in the morning. The shades of gray represent the amount of cloud cover, with darker shades representing denser cloud coverage. The altitude slider on the right side of the screen allows you to view the coverage at higher or lower altitudes. Use the time slider at the bottom to view the forecast cloud coverage at various times in the future. Together, these controls allow you to evaluate various scenarios and modify your flight plan as needed, from departure time to cruising altitude. This weather layer is not available via ADS-B or Sirius XM in flight, 
but it is included in ForeFlight's Pack feature, so you can save it for offline access during pre-flight. You can also tap certain weather layers like AirMets, SIGMETs, and Center Weather Advisories to view more information about the report or forecast. At the bottom of the map, you'll see four buttons to filter the type of AirMets and SIGMETs shown on the screen based on the hazard type ice, turbulence, IFR conditions, and thunderstorms. Pilot reports are shown on the map using a selection of icons that display the important elements from the PIRAP. Reports of turbulence are colored orange, icing reports are blue, and general observations are gray. The symbols used in the icon increase in stature based on the intensity of the report, and the altitude is displayed at the bottom in hundreds of feet. An urgent PIREP containing severe or extreme conditions is shown with a red exclamation symbol in the corner. Tap any of the symbols for the full report. The winds aloft overlay displays wind barbs on the map for altitudes up to 54,000 feet MSL. A slider control on the lower right side of the screen allows you to select the specific altitude to display in increments of 3,000 feet. Tap on one of the wind barbs to view the exact wind speed, direction, and temperature aloft.